This ring has a small machinery in it with microchips and pins inside. This is the Nova Ring R from Nova Smart Rings, the first smart ring that we are ever featuring on this channel. As a gamer, I caffeinate a lot and occasionally get increased heart rates and stress from the games that I play. This device tracks that, and it can even measure heart rate, stress levels, even estimate calorie burning from your exercises. For women, this also tracks your menstrual cycles. I also do a lot of freelance work on the side and sleep sleep only during the day, but I have a little toddler offspring which basically makes my sleep out of whack. This ring tracks your sleep by giving you information on your sleep quality. Check this out. So I have here my sleep stats for just today. As you can see, I've slept for a total of 6 hours and 30 minutes. It records how deep your sleep is. So you got restful stats right there, light sleep and REM sleep right there. Now if I scroll up, you'll see my sleep score is at 42 only and that's mainly because I slept for only 4 hours and 40 minutes but it did record my naps. And I napped twice yesterday and there you go. You have records on when you took your naps. Now if I scroll up right here, I mainly look at sleep efficiency. It's at 96% which I think is a good number and I think that sleep efficiency is dependent on how much restful time you got through your sleep. So I scroll up here, there are a lot more stats for you to explore and one quick tip for you to save battery and this is an option you can toggle on or off is if you go to the settings, you can toggle blood oxygen during sleep. I have that turned off so I can have more battery life on my ring. So before we proceed, I think it's worth mentioning that in order for this to be able to track your metrics, you're going to need to wear it in this way where there is a dot right there which marks where the sensor is and this is the correct way of wearing the ring. This also detects your activities based on your heart rate and calculates the amount of time you are at a fat burning heart rate stage. I am unsure about the battery rating of this device though it lasted me about 4 days with all features activated. Let's check out the app in the next segment. Alright, so going over the app here, upon opening it, you'll see the insights on yesterday's stats. It will give you some recommendations such as more steps or more sleep. Now, you'll see how many steps you've made yesterday and the approximate amount of calories you've burned. This will also tell you your recovery score where it tells you about how, how much you've walked and I think it also includes sleep into the way it gives you a recovery score right there. Now, you also have a daily tag here that you could fill in with how you felt today or what happened today, somewhat like a diary. This is the most important metric for me, which is sleep. I want to see how much sleep I've gotten and the quality of the sleep that I've had. Exercise records, this is also something you could do so it would track your approximate calories burned, the time spent, and I believe it will also record your heart rate. But you already have heart rate measurement right here. It will also tell you how your heart rate moves throughout the day. Blood oxygen is right here. Mine is always at 99%, so that's not a very important metric for me personally, but it could be for you. We have heart rate variability here. It will tell you the milliseconds, I believe, in between beats. Um, I look more into heart rate more than HRV, but uh, you do you. You also have stress metric right here to give approximate reports on the stress level you're at. Right now, I'm nearly relaxed and just at the normal level of stress. Moving on to the next tab, we have here the recovery tab. I do not use this tab um, because the most important tab for me is the third tab, which is sleep tab. So a while ago, we've gone through this already and I've already shown you what this tab is all about. So moving on, we have here a meditation tab where you can get to listen to some ambient noise or some ambient music that will help you relax. The last tab right here is the profile tab and here is where you will have other options to toggle on or off. To save more battery, I toggled off my blood oxygen during sleep. And since I'm a male, I don't have menstruation, so I have that toggled off. Lastly, I have your heart rate alert. I want it to alert me when I reach 130 beats per minute. For me, that's not normal, so I have that toggled on. When you get yourself a Nova Ring, you'd first be sent a sizing kit, so you'd be able to get the right size for yourself. You have a size of 6 up to 13 for a total of 8 sizes to choose from. Then, when the main ring arrives, inside the box, you get the ring, documentation, a USB-C cable, and its magnetic dock. They call this the Nova Dock, which has an aluminum housing with a rubber bottom padding. This has a magnetic pin under what seems to look like a hook, and that is where you attach the pin of the ring to charge it. Charging only takes about 1 hour, and it's good for about 4-7 to seven days of use, as advertised, and as I tested, it did last me 4 days with all features activated. Now onto the ring, this is made with titanium alloy, making it highly durable and lightweight at the same time. It's corrosion resistant and 
also skin friendly. It has a brushed look to it which looks very minimalist. However, you can't deny that the thickness of the ring is slightly obvious. This is so the ring could accommodate all the chips within and sensors as well. As a cover for the internal sensors, you get what I believe is glass. However, in another unit by Nova Rings, it has a full sapphire crystal glass build. So Nova really does keep build quality in mind. Looking closely, although you see a separation between the titanium alloy and glass, this is water resistant and can withstand water pressure of up to 50 meters. Some smart rings, even at the $300 price range, only offer IP68 waterproofing. So before you go bonkers on the price of the Nova R, just note that this is cheaper than a lot of the competition in the market with potentially inferior specifications. But regardless of how low they're pricing their smart rings, the quality is there and also its app functionality. But not all products come in perfect, so let's go over some of the cons that I've noticed. I personally do not like wearing rings because I tend to scratch them a lot with everything that I do, be it lifting dumbbells or just lugging things around in general. So here's one of the equipments in my home gym and the titanium alloy rubbing onto steel isn't good. So I got myself silicone grips right here. These are very cheap and it helps protect this ring from scratches. So if you're working out at home as well or in the gym and you're gonna get yourself a ring and you still want the ring to track your heart rate while you're working out, I suggest you get yourself gloves or grips. This ring is not scratch proof. However, a lot of the smart rings that are offered in the market also have a titanium outer build that also aren't scratch proof. So mind your expectations when you get yourself one of these. I also noticed that the actual ring is very so slightly tighter than the test kit, but I was wrong. The size of the ring is actually the same size as that in the test kit. It's just that the glass that touches your skin feels more stickier than the plastic build on the testing kit, making it feel tighter. I hope that in the next refreshes of the Nova rings, there will be further capabilities of also tracking blood pressure. But currently, there is no smart ring that offers that capability just yet. That would greatly help me visualize more how damaged my body already is with all the things that I do as a YouTuber and a freelance professional. But with me getting a better report on my sleep quality, it would also give me a very good idea on how I could better take care of myself. And this is what makes this ring really valuable. Before any health problems arise, the ring will alert you and give you recommendations on breathing exercises, meditation, exercise, maybe sleep some more when it detects stress or bad data. I do highly recommend this, especially to those who abuse their bodies like I do, it's also a good companion to get you out of bed and put in some exercise, maybe some steps and burn some calories. Anyhow, I'm pretty sure I missed a detail or two in this video review, so let me know if you have any questions down in the comment section below. I will leave links on where to get your Nova R from Nova Smart Rings in the description, so go check it out. Invest in your health, and I'll see you guys again next time.